While the many horrors of the coronavirus pandemic are bringing out the best in humanity with neighbors helping neighbors. But the outbreak has also had a devastating effect on our collective psyche. To help us make sense of that, we're joined by Father Manny Alvarez. He is the pastor of the Church of the Little Flower in Coral Gables. Father Manny, welcome. We're so glad to have you with us. Uh, a lot of people are filled with a lot of anxiety right now, understandably. What is your message to those people? Well, it's a message of hope, and we just celebrated Easter two days ago, and we celebrated the resurrection of Christ our Lord in the Christian faith, and when we when we look at that, we say hope does not disappoint. That's what I've been telling our people, and for my people, it's as simple as, Father Wayne, can I come back to church so I could pray in the house of God? So we've been leading them in prayer and leading them over the phone and through broadcasts such as these over social media to help the people deal with their anxieties and deal with their fears as well. Uh, Father, what sort of anxieties are you hearing about? What are your parishioners telling you that is concerning them the most right now? Well, obviously, and you mentioned this a few minutes ago, they're worried about their jobs. They're worried about their children. They're worried about just getting back to some semblance of normal. We don't know, as the Archbishop has told us, what that new normal will be. Uh, here, they just want to come back to church. They want to pray. And so I try to tell them, God is with you. God is uh, walking this road with you. God is always by our side. And we will get through this. We've been saying it, and we've been hearing it over and over again. It's, it's become a hashtag. We're all in this together, and we are. And God is walking right by, by, right by our side. Father, what advice can you give to people maybe whose faith isn't quite strong enough to convince them that God will get us all through this and that God is with us? And even a tougher question would be, what would you tell those people who don't believe at all? And I have talked to people who don't believe at all. And really, this is why God created us. He created, you know, the human family so we can help each other. And you just said the, those words, neighbor helping neighbors. I remember back in 1992 when that uh, phrase was coined after Hurricane Andrew. And we all chipped in and helped each other out during a crazy disaster. And so even if you don't have faith, you can have faith in humanity, but also realize that we believe that it's God who, who placed us in each other's paths to help each other out, to deliver the food like we just saw, to deliver, you know, all the wonderful hospital workers, all the wonderful people that are delivering our food, delivering just basic services. We thank God for them each and every day, and they will help us get through this crisis. Father, you have a wonderful parish there, the Church of Little Flower in uh, Coral Gables, right next to uh, St. Teresa School. Uh, it must have been so difficult for you not to be able to celebrate uh, Easter Sunday Mass uh, before your parishioners. How can people c connect with you? How can people uh, uh, get the, uh, the spiritual uh, needs that they are wanting right now? Well... We become masters at broadcasting, and we're coming for your jobs <laughs> because we've uh, <laughs> we, we ordained priests, uh, and we become uh, anchors, and we become broadcasters, and we've had to do this on the fly, learning how to put things up on social media. Here in Little Flower, we are at facebook.com slash cotlf, that's Church of the Little Flower, and across the archdiocese, miamiarch.org. And really, it's, it's been, it's been uh, a unique experience for me as a priest. Obviously, it's very, very difficult to look out, especially on Easter Sunday when we're used to seeing the church overflowing, to see empty pews and see behind the camera. Uh, I know that the two of you are, are, are very adept at this, but we were not trained for this. But I know uh, my brother priest and I and, and so many wonderful people in, in the church and even uh, people of all faiths have become experts in what the, what you, the two of you and everyone behind the scenes there at CBS4 does day in and day out. And so we thank you for what you do every day because you're uh, doing a public service as well. Well, we thank you also. And, you know, human, human interaction is a basic need. What do you say to people who ask why God allows this? This is the age-old question, right? Why does God allow this and other bad things to happen? It is an age-old question, and, and God is not indifferent uh, to our suffering. God uh, sent His only Son into the world. We just celebrated this past weekend. We just commemorated this past weekend. He sent His only Son into the world, and through the sufferings of Christ, you know, we find meaning in suffering. And He's not indifferent. He is going to deliver us from this. You know, I, I always say to people, we are operating on a different timetable than God is. He has a bigger plan. Obviously, He did not allow this to happen. He did not send this upon us. It's not a plague like we see in the Old Testament, but we will get through this with God at our side and with our brothers and sisters at our side. We will get through this crisis as well. 
Father, thank you very much, and we invite all our viewers to check out the uh, Church of the Little Flower uh, Facebook page so they can uh, check in there for uh, the uh, services there during this uh, difficult time. Father, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me.